hello everyone welcome to the mathematics of my channel in this video we are going to solve this nice integral integral from 0 to 1 k of k dk here k of k we know the complete elliptic integral of the first kind well uh, first uh, i am going to take uh, i1 uh, is equal to integral from 0 to a 0 to a uh, k of uh, here capital k k of k d k okay now uh, here integral from 0 to a k of k we know completed elliptic integral of first kind so we know the integral integral from uh, 0 to 1 upper limit 1 because uh, this is complete elliptic integral and here 1 over square root of uh, 1 minus x square times square root of 1 minus k square x square uh, dx uh, dk okay then we can uh, rearrange uh, here integral from 0 to 1 1 over square root of uh, 1 minus x square uh, here integral from 0 to a 1 over square root of 1 minus k square x square dk uh, parenthesis uh, dx well uh, then to evaluate uh, this integral we can uh, take a substitution because here we have k times x so i am going to take k times x is equal to uh, sine of theta uh, then we should differentiate here we have dk so uh, here x times uh, dk is equal to cosine of theta d theta also we should change the uh, boundary uh, lower limit uh, when k approaches to zero k approaches to zero we know uh, theta approaches to sine of uh, here also zero upper limit when k approaches to a uh, k approaches to a uh, we know we have ax ax is equal to sine of theta so theta is equal to uh, we know theta approaches to uh, arc sine of arc sine of ax arc sine of ax <coughs> okay uh, let's plug in so here uh, integral from 0 to 1 1 over uh, square root of 1 minus x square uh, then uh, here integral from uh, limit we know 0 to uh, arc sine of arc sine of ax and here uh, dk dk we know uh, here cosine of theta d theta over x uh, x constant so we can take outside of the integral sign and uh, here we have cosine of theta d theta and uh, here uh, in the denominator square root of 1 minus k square x square kx we know sine of theta so 1 minus sine square of theta we know cosine square of theta square root of cosine square of theta we know cosine of theta and here we have dx okay then we know cosine of theta uh, get cancelled so we have integral from 0 to 1 1 over uh, here x so x times square root of 1 minus x square and uh, here uh, if we integrate we know we have theta uh, limit from 0 to arc sine of a x and uh, here d x okay uh, if we apply limit we know we have 0 to 1 arc sine of arc sine of a x over x times square root of 1 minus x square d x and we know this is equal to i 1 this is equal to i 1 and also we know our i 1 is equal to integral from 0 to a integral from 0 to a k of uh, k d k okay then uh, i am going to take uh, another integral i 2 i 2 is equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 arc sine of arc sine of a times sine of x over sine of x d x well uh, then i am going to uh, take a substitution sine of x uh, is equal to u then we should differentiate 
cosine of x dx is equal to du then uh, we can plug in integral from uh, limit we know also uh, upper lower limit 0 upper limit sine of phi over 2 we know 1 and here uh, arc sine of uh, a times uh, sine of x so we have a times u over uh, sine of x again we know u and dx dx is equal to du over cosine of x cosine of x we know uh, square root of 1 minus sine square of x uh, sine square of x we know u square well uh, then um, integral from uh, 0 to 1 now uh, i am going to change the variable so arc sine of uh, a times x over x times the square root of 1 minus x square dx now we know uh, this is i2 also we know this is equal to uh, here uh, same integral so uh, i1 so we know uh, i1 is equal to i2 i1 uh, we know integral from 0 to a k of k dk so integral from 0 to a k of uh, k dk and we know this is equal to uh, i2 i2 we know uh, integral from 0 to uh, pi over 2 0 to pi over 2 arc sine of arc sine of a times uh, sine of x over sine of x dx now uh, we need the uh, integral integral from 0 to 1 therefore when a is equal 1 we have integral from 0 to 1 k of k dk uh, is equal to uh, here integral from 0 to pi over 2 uh, here uh, a we know 1 so arc sine of uh, sine of x we have x over sine of x dx now we have uh, another beautiful integral but uh, in a previous video we solved it so we know uh, this is equal to 2 times g if you like to watch uh, that video i will add the link in the description and also make a card so if you like this type of videos uh, please subscribe this channel thank you for watching